What's going on everyone? Hopefully you're all doing fantastic. In today's video, we're talking about the upcoming iOS 18 because WWDC is just a little over a week away. Actually, no, it's under a week away. And a lot of reports and rumors are now coming out more and more proving the point that Siri 2.0 is indeed happening and so much more information has came out. So if you're excited for this newly version of iOS 18, hit that like button and get subscribed because I do plan on covering all the latest features and new things that get added on iOS 18 in these next couple of days. So AI enhancements is gonna be everywhere on iOS 18, where Siri will now be more advanced than ever before. And there's gonna be a new ability where Siri can actually decide if, if it should utilize internal Siri or use Siri via the cloud to make more complex tasks. Rumors and reports have been also saying that Siri will be able to multitask a lot more than ever before, allowing you to do things from one app to another all under a single command. And Siri will now have the ability to handle multiple requests at one take. So pretty advanced stuff that we're gonna go ahead and see. And then in terms of iMessage, iMessage will now have some very advanced auto correction AI abilities. Rumors are saying it's gonna to lead to the ability for the message to generate like a unique custom emoji. Not sure exactly how this is gonna work, but pretty interesting stuff that we will be receiving custom emojis for our synthesis and stuff. In terms of photo, we will finally see like new AI tools get added for when it comes to photo touch-ups. Also the ability to remove background stuff in behind images that all be AI integrated now. But then the AI doesn't just end there as the music app is also said to be able to receive some AI functionalities where depending on your mood, we'll be able to generate a custom playlist right then and there just based off of that. Pretty interesting stuff. I'm really looking forward to this new AI thing. Hopefully it's not a huge flop, but I'm genuinely interested in trying out the AI generated playlist ability. And then Spotlight Search also re will receive a new update as well because Spotlight Search will be more advanced than ever before. As it said, it's gonna have new integration for more additional information so I could look up stuff cross applications instead of just like in like your iPhone settings. It should be able to actually go into certain app settings as well if you actually request for it in the spotlight search. But where we will see massive improvements is in the voice memo app. As the voice memo app is set to be able to record whole entire lectures complete and it won't just end there as the voice memo will also be able to solve mass grammatical questions if it picks it up on the audio logs. So that's pretty interesting right there or give you certain definitions of like certain questions. I'm assuming the voice memo picked up during like some type of lecture to give you the correct answer afterwards. So that's, I'm pretty sure that will definitely come in clutch, especially during like classroom. Now allegedly iOS 18 will also give us more customization abilities as it said here, as we'll be able to customize app icons placed anywhere on the grid. Not sure exactly what that means, but it definitely does sound promising. It seems like they're making the home screen customization icon ability that we have the ability to do right now more common and more easy than complex than it is right now on iOS 17. Now the control center, it's not confirmed yet, but there's, there has been talk that totally become revamped, re-engineered and redesigned entirely, but it's it's just rumors at this point. Nothing hasn't yet really been confirmed about this. But where we will see new overhauls, improvements is the Safari. As Safari is said to be overhauled in a new design with, with new browsing tools. And then Safari will also be able to use intelligence to summarize like long websites as well. So if you just want to hear the summary of a certain article, Safari will receive some type of unique tool that will allow it to do this. And then other places where we will see this new summarize tool ability will also be featured in the notes app as well. That will have a new tool that will allow us to summarize it all in a small paragraph instead of reading multiple pages or multiple notes. Now a new feature that will be taking place will be found in the Apple Maps app. Very similar to like watchOS 10 where we have the new topograph ability for our maps. Topograph will now become available on Apple Maps as well. So someone who likes to see the topograph like data, you'll be able to now finally see that on your iPhone, not just on the Apple Watch. And then there will also be a new tool in the map apps that will allow it to create some unique like custom routes. I'm not sure what that means. It could be like smart AI routes or just allowing you to freely create routes, which I think we were always able to do, but I, I think Apple somehow managed to improve it right here. 
utilizing AI again. So those are just the leaks and rumors that we know so far, but what we do know currently was a couple weeks ago, Apple actually released in their newsroom on some unique features that iOS 18 is getting. One of the most interesting ones is the haptic feedback for music feel. Basically, you'll feel the vibration of the song. Not sure exactly how this will feel like. It's definitely an interesting concept. I'm actually definitely looking forward to like a song you're listening to will feel like instead of listening to. Of course, this will be something that will be in the accessibility section because other accessibility stuff is eye tracking support where it's very similar to like the Apple Vision. You'll be able to control your iPhone by just looking at your phone display and selecting the apps. So Apple's utilizing the technology that you find that we will find on the Apple Vision Pro but it will integrate it on the iPhone. Again, another accessibility tool for those that need it. And then if you're hard at hearing, CarPlay would then have the ability to actually alert you if they hear sirens of an incoming emergency vehicle. It will actually notify you right there on CarPlay. That's how it works. Again, these are all confirmed iOS 18 features that Apple debuted a couple weeks ago in their newsroom, but all these are primarily focused in the accessibility, and I think it's, these are actually really useful for not just those that need it, but also for just practicality. There's times when I'm driving with really loud music, I'm sure those sirens alert on CarPlay will definitely come in handy for those that enjoy listening to our music at Max Audio because who cares about our eardrums, right? I'm being sarcastic. So those are the biggest changes coming out for iOS 18. Tell me which one of these was your favorite or if you have a request of your own, you like something you like to see on iOS 18, feel free to comment down below. My request would be finally giving us the ability to change the wallpaper on CarPlay. I think it will look better if we could actually have like a custom background instead of the generic ones. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you agree or not. My name was Eddie. Thank you so much for watching.